Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm excited to be a part of the Mother's Day card hop. The theme for this hop is to use pattern paper to make a Mother's Day card. This is a giveaway hop sponsored by the Not Too Shabby Shop, where you can enter to win one of their new Dots for Spring 6x6 paper pads. To be eligible to win one of the six prizes that will be given away, you must leave a comment below. There are some changes coming to the Not Too Shabby Shop, so be on the lookout for some new products and a monthly subscription box, so be sure to check them out. I'll put a link to the shop in the description box below. Now, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Now, let's jump right in. Now, today I'm creating a see-through vellum window card, and this features the MFT Stamps Wildflower stamp set and the matching dynamics, and then this Party Patterns paper pad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out all of the different colored polka dot pattern sheets in here. As you can see, there's different colors, stripes, but I'm going to use the ones that are that have the little tiny polka dots. So I'm going to be using those three colors there for the flowers and then of course the green here for the leaves. Now I've had this stamp set for a while, but I've never used it. So that's why you see me rubbing my fingers along each of the stamps today. I've placed the pattern paper directly into my Misty stamping platform and I'm just going to pick out a couple of these flowers to stamp onto each of the different colors that I have picked out here. Now by me rubbing my fingers across the stamp, it usually takes away some of the stickiness, but these were pretty sticky. So um, I'm using my anti-static powder bag to run across the top of my pattern paper where I'm going to be stamping and I'm gonna use some Ranger Archival ink and I'm gonna coat my stamps and I'm gonna stamp this several times just to make sure that I have good coverage because I will then be applying some clear embossing powder to the top of these flowers and then applying my heat tool so that it will give it some shine. Now I love working with pattern papers. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenge, I will link that above and in the description box below i provide a free pdf template that has card sketches and cutting templates that you can use six sheets of the six by six pattern paper to make anywhere from 15 to 16 cards and so if you haven't seen that go ahead and check that out it's it's a lot of fun and i offer some prizes too for just for entering the challenge all you have to do is create your cards and post pictures on social media and use the hashtag Kendra's card challenge too. Okay, so I've went ahead and stamped out my leaves and all my flowers, and now I'm applying my heat tool. And as you can see, it's like magic. This is my favorite part. Now, when you're heat embossing on thinner paper, you wanna make sure that you apply the heat tool to the back too to prevent warping. So now that I have all of those done, I've trimmed them down a little bit so that I can run these through my Big Shot and cut all of the little flowers and leaves out. Now that they're cut out, I'm taking my sponge daubers and I am applying some matching colored ink or along the edges of each of my cutouts. I went ahead and placed the flowers that I wanna use just on this white card front, just to kind of see the placement and kind of figure out what I wanna do. Now I have this polka dot vellum that I thought would go perfectly with these polka dot pattern papers. So I'm now using my Hero Arts Infinity Rectangle Die Set, and I've taken the third to the largest rectangle die, and I've placed that on my polka dot vellum, and then the next size down, I'm placing directly on my card base, which is um, a sheet of Stark White by Simon Hurley. And I'm tacking this down using some mint tape, which is a low tack removable tape, and I'm gonna be running both of these through my Big Shot die cutting machine. And so now I need to cut out another piece so that I can place the frame on the back side to hide all of the glue and adhesive so that my window sheet can adhere to the card front. So now I'm taking the Honey Bee Stamps Mother's Day stamp set. This is retiring, it is still available on their website. And all of the supplies that I'm using today, I will link below but I've placed my vellum inside my Misty. And uh, again, I'm using my anti-static powder bag and some Versamark ink. And I'm inking up the stamp that says Happy Mother's Day. And I wanted to make sure that I had it in the right spot. And 
Now I'm gonna apply some Gina K black embossing powder and then I'll be carefully heat embossing this vellum piece. Now to remove those extra flakes of <laughs> black embossing powder, I'm gonna use my paintbrush here and just kind of brush that away. I accidentally, my brush was a little bit too big to get between the H and the E there. So I had to add some more embossing powder where I accidentally brushed it off. And so I decided to use a smaller paintbrush to get off those extra flakes. I'm using my reverse tweezers to help hold it while I apply my heat tool. Um, normally, if it's a small piece, I usually burn my fingers. So the tweezers kind of helps me to keep my fingers away from the hot part of the heat tool. So you'll notice that I am running it along the backside too, and that's just to help prevent warping. Now I've arranged all of my flowers and leaves where I want them on the vellum piece, and I'm taking a square of Glad Press and Seal. So it's just a little bit sticky, which will allow me to pick up all of the pieces at one time. And now I can apply my art glitter glue to the back of all of the pieces and then place it back down all at one time rather than trying to put each piece down and remember exactly how I had it. So this just makes it a lot easier and faster. And as you can see, after I press down really well to make sure that my glue is attached to the vellum, the press and seal piece comes off really easily. So now that that's done, I realized when you flip the vellum piece over, you can see kind of the glue and some of those flowers and leaves, I accidentally got ink on the backside and I didn't want that to show through my vellum. So I went ahead and just cut out some white pieces of the flowers and leaves. And then I just did the reverse side and I'm gonna glue all of these down just to hide that not so pretty side. <laughs> Now, rather than using the press and seal for these pieces, I just decided to go ahead and glue them down one at a time because I wanted to make sure that I lined it up exact and I thought it would be easier doing it this way. And then that way, if I if I was off just a little bit, trying to use that press and seal might would have been a little bit more difficult. Okay, so now that that's done, I am taking another stamp in that stamp, Mother's Day stamp set that says, I love you. And I'm gonna stamp this on the inside of the card directly behind the flowers so that whenever the card's closed, you won't be able to see it. But whenever you lift up the card front, you'll be able to read the I love you on the middle piece. So I'm using my T ruler to measure exactly where I wanna stamp it and to make sure that it's completely hidden there in the middle. And I'm using one of my um, smaller acrylic blocks and that same archival ink and now I'm gonna take some of my score tape that's 1 8th of an inch and I'm gonna apply it all around my frame. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the backside piece that's gonna hide the glue where I attach my vellum piece down. Now my vellum piece is slightly smaller than my card base. So it was like four and 1 8th of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch I believe and so I can't put the top front I can't do what I was about to do here so I decided maybe it would be easier for me to just try to line it up going the other way but I didn't want the back side of the base to stick to that score tape that had a little bit of an adhesive along the edges so I'm just trying very carefully to line this up and I did a pretty decent job but this is definitely um, in hindsight, I probably would have done this a little differently. I probably would have put the score tape along the edges of my vellum. And that would have made life a lot easier. Anyway, so now I'm removing the backing and I'm going to hide all of that glue by placing down this frame on the backhand side. I'd have to say this is probably the trickiest part of making the card. Otherwise, this card was really easy to make. Just making sure that the frame lines up and nothing's sticking out. That was probably the most difficult part. But this is pretty much finished. Now all I'm going to do is add some Stickles Glitter Glue in Crystal to the center of those flowers. And this is my finished card. I really hope you like my see-through vellum window Mother's Day card. I think it turned out really pretty. 
and it didn't take me very long to make, so it's pretty easy. Let me know what you think in the comments below and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Check the description box to find a link to the next video along the hop. And before you go, please click on the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. You can find additional card making inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages, as well as my website at cardsbykendra.com. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful crafty day.